Hi everyone, welcome back. Thank you so much for watching this video. So welcome to brand new vlog. Basically, this vlog was inspired by you all because I get asked so many times on my um, social media, especially on Instagram, like how I manage time, how I get time to do YouTube, Instagram, as well as TikTok. That is like one of the questions people love to ask me. This time, I really wanted to show you guys how things work behind the scenes because you guys are so curious. I hope you enjoyed this video and see the reality of my life a little bit. So today is mainly for brainstorming and kind of like to sit down and write down what exactly I'm going to do in coming days as well as this week for YouTube and TikTok. So what I normally do is I've got like three organizer here which seems like quite a lot. I'm very old school when it comes to organizing um, myself. I like to write it down basically that is what I meant. So uh, yeah this one is a bullet journal here which I love doing it. I've been doing this for the last three years and then also got this you have seen this a lot on my vlogs kind of like a list which I write down and then I tick it off later when I'm done with whatever i need to do next one is this uh, notebook where i write what videos of flame for youtube as well as like tiktok this is basically how i organize myself as well as plan for content and i've been trying to make more interesting contents for you guys tuesdays are mostly for tiktok i spend a couple of hours taking videos for tiktok i've actually kept my hair as it is because i really didn't want to straighten my hair it takes a little bit time like maybe 40 minutes so my hair is quite straight and fine so i thought this would do i just put like a little bit of hair oil to make it look like a little bit healthy glossy etc but apart from that this is how my hair is naturally and a lot of people actually ask me if i have dyed my hair but this is actually my natural color i'm enjoying tiktok so much i don't think too much about followers i'm having so much fun and you guys are loving my tiktok a lot i get a lot of positive feedback every time i post and i'm really happy like i'm making your lockdown slash quarantine interesting at the moment with my tiktok i want to make more like funny videos fun videos rather than just fashion i will definitely do fashion as well because fashion is in my blood basically i absolutely love wearing good clothes i might do like fashion videos in between but mostly it would be like fun videos if you are on tiktok then come and say hi this is my list for a tiktok video today to shoot so basically i like to have a list so that i know what i'm shooting you can see there's quite a lot my aim is to shoot today uh, 18 videos but we'll have to see because when i have a certain number of videos there are a few i actually don't manage to shoot i ordered this tripod for my tiktok videos unfortunately it's not a long tripod i'm ready to shoot I'm only using one light. That is my camera tripod where I'll put my phone over there with blue tag. This is the light I was talking about earlier. I don't use like ring light. I just use this. Just wearing this black cropped up underneath it's a short one and then my favorite blazer which is from H&M and I'm actually wearing joggers um, below I'm filming like half video so it doesn't matter also let me show you my prop for today's video my prop is going to be this one this is from Zara oh my god this is so gorgeous I've seen on website I've not had a look yet myself so this is the first time I'm gonna have a look myself and you guys can see at the same time this looks so gorgeous oh god i'm so excited about this one okay let me put this box here oh my god look at this baby oh my god i love it i have just realized that i don't need light because i've got big window and today is a very sunny day when i turned the lights on it was like too much light so i'm ready to shoot video but i always don't kind of like prepare things before so i'm gonna learn dialogue now that is what i do on the spot since i have two kids it's harder to do prep beforehand the only prep i do is obviously like the list of videos that i'm gonna film on the day today i need to learn the I dialogue now this, but how exciting is it to smell it i can't eat this but how exciting is it to smell it this, but how exciting is it to smell it? I can't eat this, but how exciting this, is it to it smell it? So that's it. I think I got it. I have to film like up to like five, six videos and then I post the best one. Obviously, when I do the first one, it's not going to be like good one. So I have to do like a lot of retake. I can't eat this, but how exciting is it to smell it? I can't eat 
can't eat this, but how exciting is it to smell it? I think I'm gonna do last one. I always do this. I'm always saying like I'll take last one, last one. Okay, this is gonna be the last one. I promise to myself and to you guys. This is uh, me. Like I'm a bit of perfectionist. I want to get everything right. Oh, it's such a pain sometimes. It can work against you at times. I can't eat this, but how exciting is it to smell it? So I was actually filming this TikTok video and I had to put like this picture behind on green screen and guess what happened? Oh my god, it took me almost like half an hour to find a picture because TikTok would not accept bigger pictures. They have their own resolution. This is the last one. I can't shoot anymore. Oh god, I'm so tired. Guess what? I am starving because I was doing like this food green screen. So it made me really hungry. It is half four in the evening. I had my lunch. I looked after my kids. So Misha is sleeping at the moment so I thought it would be a perfect time to film a couple of videos because I've only managed to film six today out of like 18 I was supposed to do. So I think I'm going to film like three or four more and that's it for this week. So that is it. I'm going to show you exactly what I'm doing. I'm going to do like a Nepali dialogue, like a funny one, which I really found it funny. So this one is going to be my first Nepali dialogue and I always find it harder to do Nepali ones because you have to act I think so I'm not good at it but I try it and I feel like I'm getting better at acting lip syncing etc I kind of like the like, dialogues that is fun and I feel like I can do it and when I'm actually doing it I enjoy it so that is how I pick my basically what TikTok I do <laughs> Another quick outfit change and I'm ready to shoot another TikTok video. So whenever I uh, film like six, seven uh, TikTok video in a batch, that will keep me going for a week because I will upload like one video per day. But sometimes when I'm feeling great or if I want to spoil my viewers, then I actually do two in one day and you guys don't know I'm quite funny in real life I've got good sense of humor and a lot of you were like shocked to see the other side of me because a lot of you thought I was like very serious I'm a calm person I'm quite serious as well but not as serious as a lot of people assumed hello boys can't touch or hug but just keep washing the hands and keep going you know corona so got my tripod there my light is here and um, i need my laptop as well because that is my screen the camera screen is like really small so i can't see properly what's happening uh, especially like when it comes to focusing or not so i'm gonna go and grab my laptop so my laptop is here i use macbook pro and for editing i use imovie uh, at the moment i have not decided yet to buy other editing software because i don't have a lot of followers so i was thinking maybe after i reach 10k i will buy myself like editor as a treat for myself yeah please subscribe if you haven't and help me reach 10k whenever i film like whole video it takes longer time couple of hours and then my room is always messy because i have to change and i'm not cleaning as i go so i kind of like throw stuff here and there that is the screen where i look at when i'm filming just to see i'm in focus that helps me a lot I've got my first outfit and I'm ready to shoot my video. I've decided to use the ring light and this light. Hi everyone, welcome back. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you all are well. And today I've got Zara haul for you. This is the last piece I bought from Zara. And thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you all are staying safe. And if you would like to see more from me, please do subscribe. Till then, take care, stay safe. It is 17 past 12. And guess what I'm doing at midnight? I'm still editing this video, which is my jewelry collection video that needs to go out tomorrow. So night before, I'm always in hurry to finish up. I don't think I'll be able to do thumbnails, so I'll have to do it tomorrow. This is why I upload my video later during the day around like 1 p.m uk time because in the morning it gives me 
couple of hours if I'm unable to do thumbnail beforehand and guess what I have been actually editing this video since Sunday and I've been editing every day since Sunday so this is how much time editing takes I'm gonna take photos of this jewelry here which I have talked on my video so that's what I'm doing this morning for thumbnail normally I take um, thumbnail out of screenshot but today because it's a jewelry collection so I wanted to take a picture of jewelry <laughs> Guess what everyone, this vlog has inspired me to take content for Instagram. So this is my setup for now, uh, my favorite chair where I'm going to sit and take picture. I'm going to use my vlogging camera and I always uh, take picture in auto settings. I don't use any lights because uh, this one has got like really good capacity for low lighting. You can see I've connected my phone uh, with my camera. So I've got 10 second timer here. You can see that and I'm going to press that button. When it comes to Instagram, I'm kind of like losing my interest over there. I don't feel excited about it anymore I have not been putting out much content to be honest <laughs> but anyway this vlog has made me think about my content on Instagram and I'm gonna take a couple of pictures uh, with the items I bought from Zara and I've got kind of like a theme on my head for this one like a girl boss like very strong powerful that is what I want to create so let's see how it goes if you haven't followed me on Instagram then please do I would love to have you So another one I want to do, maybe just this, oh that's a good one, let's try this, oops, throw the phone, I want to look like serious. Hey everyone, it's only me. Not a ghost. So anyway, uh, since I've managed to do today all the thumbnails, editing, YouTube description, everything, normally I would be rushing at this time because tomorrow is Sunday and today is Saturday. So Saturday night I'm always like rushing and sometimes on Sunday morning as well I'm rushing to get the video. But this time I've managed to do everything so I don't have to stay up late uh, to do editing and thumbnail etc. So I thought I'd treat myself with a good hair oil massage and then sheet mask basically. So while I I'm doing like sheet masking I'm gonna watch The King on Netflix because I've only watched about like 10 minutes of new episode which came on Friday so I'm gonna watch my opa it's gonna be such a treat for me I think I deserve this treat this sheet marks the hair oil massage and especially opa oh god I deserve it after such a hard work of editing and you know running around with kids so yeah, I'm gonna relax for probably one hour and I'll go to bed around 11 because normally uh, when I'm editing, I'll go to bed around midnight. Here we go, it's Opa time and Opa is here, yay! I'm basically editing video at the moment. It is half 10 at night. My kids have gone to bed. So this is the time when I get chance to edit video most of the time after they've gone to bed. Today, new vlog went live on my channel. So I'm kind of like editing a little bit for next week video basically. So anyway, I do all the editing myself, thumbnail, etc. I wish I had a team of people working behind me, but unfortunately, that's not the case here. I would love to have that in the future. Fingers crossed for that. Hopefully that would happen very soon. This is what I do. I try to edit videos every night after both my kids go to bed. I can't edit during day because Misha won't let me edit. When I sit down with my laptop, then she'll grab my laptop. Also another thing, they need me, there's no chance I can edit during the day. So I prefer night time when both of them have gone to bed. It's easier to do editing at this time. Also I have actually included like how many hours it took me to film YouTube video as well as TikTok. And I hope that gives you an insight of how much time it takes and proves that YouTube, TikTok is a hard job and we are doing our best as a content creators to entertain you guys. So please, when you are commenting, be kind to us because we have put in a lot of hours to bring that content to you guys if you don't have anything good to say don't say i hope this video kind of like clarify how i manage my time how i'm getting the time to do so many videos at the moment nav is also at home that is helping me a lot because of this current situation he's at home when i'm shooting videos he's the one looking after our kids so thank you to him as well for his contribution <laughs> 
so anyway yeah that is it i don't have a lot to say because i've said a lot on this video because i wanted to give you like a very detailed insight of the process of making videos thanks so much for watching this video i hope you all are staying safe and if you haven't subscribed please do i would appreciate that and i would actually love to have you back on my channel so that's it for this week and i'll see you in my next video till then take care bye guys